They play hard. You gotta tip your hat. They definitely play hard. You can't go freaking bear hunting with BB guns. There's no tomorrow, we don't win today. I'm Mike Pelfrey of the Minnesota Twins, right-handed pitcher, and I played for the Anchorage Glacier Pilots in 2003. You know, going in there, uh, there was already two other pitchers from Wichita State going there, um, and I actually went and tried out uh, for Team USA, and that was my that was my that actually my backup plan at the time, and I actually ended up getting cut, and, uh, you know, I thought I could get, I got the opportunity to go there, and uh, I got to live with, uh, you know, both those guys, Wichita State, which, uh, you know, made it a comfortable environment. Yes, uh, Lawrence Dumont, and you always get to saw those those, uh, those teams come in there, and I, that also played into it that uh, you know the big baseball around the clock. Uh, you know, it was always cool growing up, and uh, you know I thought I was gonna have the opportunity to play. In. We ended up not. No, we ended up not going. No, no. I think we just we just missed it uh, from qualifying, uh, so we ended up going, which uh, you know, was obviously kind of disappointing. And I was gonna have the opportunity to go home, but I think just getting away from home. I, mean, I think is is. You know, a college kid, I think you need to, uh, you know, get out, I think, for your own good. You kind of mature and, you know, kind of get away from your parents. And, you know, obviously I didn't get to do that because obviously I was at, uh, you know, played at home. But, uh, you know, getting to go out and, uh, you know, get away from home, mature a little bit, get to, you know, see what it was like to, you know, kind of live on your own a little bit. And, uh, you know, that obviously provided the opportunity. And I know the coaches there preached that, you know, getting getting out and getting away, uh, you know, was huge. You know, I remember the first, uh, the first game I pitched there, um, they ended up calling it um, after seven innings, and I don't remember. I don't remember, really remember the reason. I think they had to get the fireworks off at a certain time, but it was like at the. I think it was the seventh inning, and I hadn't given up a hit yet. And then I ended up uh, with two outs in the seventh, gave up a hit. And the next guy got a hit, and I ended up giving up a giving up a run. But uh, I think that's the game that probably uh, you know sticks out more than anything. Yes, yeah, and being an anchor, it was always. Pilots in the, in the box was kind of always the big there, and I remember Fairbanks was uh, you know really really good at that time too. But uh, you know being an anchorage, it was always the pilots in the box, and, and that was kind of the, the big rivalry there. So there's guys when you run up to him, you still remember, hey, I played with this guy, or another name is uh, John Valkyrie, who played a little bit with the Giants. I remember running to him, and, and uh, so I don't necessarily stay in contact with those guys on the phone. I stay in contact with the you know the Wichita State guys I was teaming with, but uh, you know I will talk to those guys if uh, you know you run up to them on the field. I remember uh, the coach, and then um, we also had uh, Jamie Bluma, who was, who was uh, another Wichita State guy, former former Shocker, and uh, he was the pitching coach, and he was he was crazy. And I think he uh, he kept he kept it pretty uh, you know pretty entertaining. We had one coach that left early. Um, the other coach, I remember they, they stuffed him up in like a blow up doll, put his jersey on afterwards after he left, and it was just uh, it was it was constant entertainment there, which uh, you know those guys kept it fun and. Uh, him and, and uh, you know Jamie Bloom did a good job of always keeping it loose and joking around and you know if a guy make an error or do something funny in the field you know we're all laughing at him dug out joking around and, and uh, you know like I said it was a great time and uh, it was constant entertainment. I remember uh, there's two things that happened that I thought were crazy. I think obviously in, in 2003 there was a during the game there was a plane crash in in right field behind behind the field and uh, the other things happened is we had another pitcher on the team from. Uh, UCLA Adam Simon and he always had this thing where anytime a fly ball would come he would always lay down and in the last second he'd pull his glove up and, and uh, you know catch it in the last second so we're in batting practice one day fly ball comes he lays down and as he goes to catch his, his glove gets caught on his belt and the ball ended up hitting him in his, in his mouth and it ended up knocking his two front teeth out so then you end up seeing like the ambulance on the field and uh, you know them taking him, taking him off the ambulance and he ended up having to get his two front teeth back but uh, it's something that probably I think you'll, you'll never forget seeing a guy joking around and actually getting his glove caught, and uh, it was one of those uh, you know memorable moments. You know, I, you know, I'm big. I think that the pitching starts with you know fastball command. So uh, you know, I went there and, and you know obviously I wanted to work on my fastball command and continue to make that better, and then uh, you know always try to uh, you know refine the, the secondary stuff and try to make it you know as better as uh, better as it can be or as good as it can be, and. and you know, I thought I, I thought I did that, and you know, obviously, I thought you know, going there, I got to you know, got to play against some of the top competition, the, the best competition in the country. So, uh, not only get to go out there and you get to compete against uh, you know top level guys, it still allowed you to be the opportunity to you know to work on things, which was uh, you know, I thought was great. It was, it was crazy. Um, obviously, it's it's uh, a lot different than, than Kansas outdoors. So, uh, but you know, if I had the opportunity to go back to Alaska, I would go and go in a heartbeat. I mean, it was. Uh, I really think. Uh, 
the host family really, really made Alaska. And like I said, that there was three pitchers from Wichita State, um, and we all got to live in the same house. It was a single, uh, a single dad. He had a 16-year-old boy, and he was big into like adventure and bringing us out. And I remember going out and uh, you know riding, riding four wheelers around around the glaciers and. and you know, next to, in the sand dunes next to glaciers, and uh, it was always outdoor stuff. And we, we lived uh, Eagle River, and you know it never really got dark there. So you know we would go out late at night and, and go up in the, in the little river up by there, and, and you know try to pull out red salmon and stuff like that. And we were always outside, and you know it was pretty hard to sleep, you know, because uh, it did not ever really get dark. And, and uh, so we pretty much stayed up for I would say most of the summer, and it was it was absolute blast, especially uh, you know being a guy who loves being outdoors. Any, anything that I can do outdoors, uh, I've always tried. I've always tried to do it. And, uh, you know, Alaska is probably uh, you know the funnest, I, the funnest summer I've had. You know, growing up, and, and uh, you know, I really think the host had uh, you know wanted to get out and do that adventurous stuff too. Actually, played into it. I don't know. We we, we didn't have any fishing poles, so we always caught them with our with our hands, and um, they were spawning, I guess. So they were kind of decaying a little bit, and those things were pretty heavy, and, and those things would hit you coming down. Uh, you know the river; they almost knock you over. They were so, they were so big. We were out there and did it with their hands, and, and we never we'd pull them up out of the water, and then we couldn't really hold them. And, and but you could see them enough to see like their body decaying and all that stuff. And uh, you know it was it was just a blast. Probably couldn't hold on to them and end up letting them go. But uh, you know it was fun. It was fun getting out there and just doing that, and messing around. I remember they gave us like a ten passenger van, and, and you actually couldn't open up the middle door from the inside, so somebody had to come out. So uh, you know it got us from from you know where we needed to be and. Great. And, you know, anybody I think that uh, you know is considering Alaska, and, and especially uh, if you're an outdoors person, I think it's, it's an opportunity that you can't pass up. Not only is the baseball there and the competition there, you know everything that you could uh, you know ask for. Uh, you know the chance to get out and experience something that, that you might not get to you know the rest of your life. And, uh, you know, get there in the outdoors. I think something that uh, you know I'll, I'll never forget.